everybody, it's Laura again, and I have another new video for you all today, and it is called the 50 Random Facts About Me tag. Now, I know that this is a pretty old tag, but I decided that since I don't make that many videos, that I would just try this one out for size, so that you guys can learn a little bit more about me. So, I have all the facts written out on a list right next to me, so I'll be reading off of that list as usual, because... I am so awkward and I usually forget what I'm going to say, so I will read off of the list and let you guys know a little bit more about myself. So, let's get started. Okay, fact number one is that sometimes I end up reading like six or more books at a time because I, I don't know, because I just like get interested in so many different books and I sometimes end up never finishing a book. But then I go back to it to finish it later on, sometimes. So yeah, it's fact number one. I don't really finish books. <laughs> uh, fact number two is that I cannot go a day without listening to music. I, I just can't. Like, music is my whole life, even if I'm sitting listening to it for a little while while I'm on Tumblr or something. I have to listen to music, like, every day of my life. Um, number three is that I'm a night owl. Yes, I'm not a morning person by any means. I actually made this list at night because I was just so bored and I couldn't sleep and I decided that I would create this list and do it. So yeah, I'm a night owl. Fact number four is that I am obsessed with horror movies and creepy things. I have been ever since I was a little girl and it hasn't left me. That, that obsession with horror movies and scary, creepy things, it hasn't gone away. <laughs> Uh, number five is that my birthday is the day before Halloween. So yes, I was born the day before, but I wish it was kind of on Halloween since it's so close. Why not? Why not have it be on Halloween? That would be so cool. Um, by the way, sorry for the noise. If you can hear any noise, it's because I'm recording, like, right next to my window in the living room. So, yeah, it might get kind of loud. So, yeah, that was... Fact number five. Uh, fact number six now is that even though I love Halloween and everything like that, because I live in a very sheltered household, I have only ever been trick-or-treating once in my life. My whole life. I haven't lived that long, but I've only ever been trick-or-treating once. And we never really celebrated Halloween that much, just my birthday. So yeah, uh, that sucks. And yeah. But uh, fact number seven is that I really, really, really love tea. Like, I, I drink tea a lot, no matter what the weather is outside. If it's hot or cold, I drink a cup of tea almost every night, and I really, really, really love tea. Yeah. Fact number eight is that I am a vegetarian. I haven't been a vegetarian for very long. I just started um, eating vegetarian this year, but uh, I love it. I love animals, and I don't want to hurt animals, and eventually I feel I want to take this one step further and become vegan. So yes, I'm a vegetarian. Uh, fact number nine is that I like collecting things. Um, I used to have a rock collection. I still have it, but I don't collect rocks anymore. That's kind of lame, but <laughs> yeah, when I was young younger, I had a rock collection. So I do like collecting things. Now I'd rather collect, like, uh, things that cater to my interests, like, uh, creepy dolls, but not, like, old Victorian porcelain dolls that are, like, haunted or anything, but, like, creepy, cute dolls and stuff like that, and Venetian masks, masks and things like that. I like collecting stuff. Uh, fact number ten is that I hate Jello. I hate Jello a lot. Um, I ate it a lot when I was a kid. My mom loves it, but I just got tired of it. I don't like Jello anymore. Hate it. Uh, fact number 11 is that I'm really, really inter interested in psychology, and I love the way the human brain works, especially when it comes to, like, psychosis and deranged people and serial killers and stuff like that. I am actually taking a psychology course right now, called Abnormal Psychology in college, and I'm really, really interested in psychology and the way the human brain functions. Uh, yes. Fact number 12 is I am an introvert, and I do keep a very small circle of friends because, like, 
I don't really trust people that easily, um, and they kind of get on my nerves. It's kind of mean to say. I mean, I am a very nice person, but I tend to keep my circle small because I have trust issues, and people have proven why I should have trust issues. So yes, I'm an introvert. Uh, fact number 13 is that I love, love, love gothic Victorian fashion and anything from the Victorian era, well, except for the mindsets, but I love Victorian fashion, and I have had a longing to like wear a be beautiful Victorian dress for a very long time, and when I have enough money, I want to buy a really pretty, elaborate Victorian dress one day. So yes, I love Victorian, gothic Victorian fashion. Uh, fact number 14 is that I love tattoos and piercings. I have no piercing and two wrist tattoos right now. I plan on getting some more in the very near future. Hopefully I can get a Halloween themed sort of tattoo before my birthday or around the time of my birthday. So, yes, I plan on getting a lot more tattoos and piercings when I'm a little older. And, yes, I love tattoos and piercings. Um, fact number 15 is that I hate wearing bright colors. I've always hated wearing bright colors ever since I was a little girl. I, I just hate it. They don't suit me the way they do some people. I mean, you can tell I only wear black. <laughs> but yeah, I hate bright, bright, bright colors. Yeah. Uh, fact number 16 is that I love creating artwork out of dead flowers and leaves. I just recently started doing that because I'm not very good at drawing and painting. So I decided that I might take dead flowers and turn them into art because, I mean, People buy them, and they die, and why throw them away? You know, they're so beautiful. You can give them a new life when you turn them into art. So I love doing that. Uh, fact number 17 is that I love do-it-yourself projects. Even though I'm not a very crafty person, I do try to create my own jewelry and accessories and things like that. And I love watching videos about do-it-yourself projects because the things that I'm really into, they really tend to be quite expensive. So I do like creating my own things like that, my own jewelry and stuff. Um, fact number 18 is that I make really, really weird and random noises at times. <laughs> it's very strange. Sometimes my friends and family notice it, but I do make really random noises sometimes. It's weird. <laughs> Uh, number 19 is that I love to dance. I dance around the house a lot when I'm at home alone and I'm doing stuff. I dance and sing around the house by myself. And, yeah. Um, fact number 20 is that I can't drive, unfortunately. Not yet. Because I live in a city where buses and trains run everywhere, so you really don't ever need to learn how to drive if you plan on living here your whole life. Um, in New York, you can just take subway and buses and stuff and it'll take you wherever you need to go so that's why I haven't learned how to drive yet they don't teach it in school as part of the curriculum so yeah I don't have my license or anything yet now on to fact number 21 is that I love bright hair colors as you can see uh, I don't like wearing bright colors as clothes but I love having like bright colorful beautiful hair and I kind of recently just started wearing like bright colorful hair because I love the contrast between like dark clothes and everything and dark makeup and bright hair. So yes, I love bright colors in the hair. Uh, fact number 22 is that I am a procrastinator. Yeah, uh, that's the reason why it's taken me so long to do this video in the first place is because I procrastinate. And it's a terrible habit that I'm trying to change about myself, but it's just so well embedded <laughs> that I, I have trouble getting to important things when I should and utilizing my time properly. So yes, I am a terrible procrastinator. Uh, fact number 23 is that my kneecaps are ticklish. Um, it's a very strange thing. Uh, my dad, when I was younger, he used to tickle me on my knees. And for some reason, only when he does it, it tickles. Which is weird. I tried on myself, but it doesn't, it's not the same. <laughs> so, whenever my dad tickles my kneecaps, it, it tickles. <laughs> um, 
fact number 24 is that I love writing as well as reading. I write songs and stories and everything and poems, and I have been ever since I was a little girl. I have a very vivid imagination, so I like to get things down on paper rather than speaking because I'm not a very good orator. Um, it's a wonder that I'm even making YouTube videos, but yes, I'd rather write than talk. Uh, fact number 25 is that I spend a lot of time on my own. I'm at home alone right now, actually, <laughs> but yes, I do spend a lot of time by myself because I like it that way, but yes, I'm a loner for the most part. Uh, fact number 26 is that I hate math. I always have been terrible at math in school, and I try, and sometimes I do well. I understand basic concepts and stuff like that, but I'm not very good at it, and I rely on a calculator to do most of my math. So yes, I hate math for the most part. Um, fact number 27 is that I own two guitars at the moment, but one of them is a beginner's guitar that I don't really like that much. It's not like a real professional guitar, so... At the moment, I don't really play either of them because I'm really, really busy, but, uh, and I kind of suck at them, but I plan on getting better and writing songs using my guitars, so yes, I have two guitars. Uh, fact number 28 is that I love anime and anything that has to do with Japanese culture. I'm not an expert or anything on Japanese culture, but I do really, really love anime and everything. That has to do with Japan. I would love to go there one day, actually, and probably spend some time there learning the language and the culture and all that stuff. I love Japan. So, yes, that is fact number 28. Fact number 29 is that I had a slight scene phase that I'd rather not talk about. <laughs> but, yes, I had one of those phases when I was a teenager, and I'm so glad that I, I'm out of that sort of scene phase. It was... It was terrible. Uh, fact number 30 is that I suck at video games. I don't have a game console at all, but I I would love to. I'd love to play and get better, but I just I suck at video games because I'm kind of competitive. And if I'm playing with someone else, I will freak out <laughs> if I lose. So, yeah, I, I'm not good with that, with video games or anything. So <laughs> I choose not to play them. Uh, fact number 31 is that I am not a very romantic person, so I actually really, really hate Valentine's Day. And I think that's a bell. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but yeah, I'm just going to try to speak over that. But yes, 31, I hate Valentine's Day. I hate romantic things, and I don't really like romance movies either. I'd rather watch horror movies and stuff like that and comedies. So yeah, that's fact number 31. Fact number 32 is that I love magic and mythical creatures and things like mermaids and vampires and fairies. I love that stuff and I've loved it ever since I was a little girl. And I really, really, really wanted to be a mermaid or a vampire when I was younger. I still do. <laughs> I don't want to be human. But yeah, I am. So yes, I love magic and mythical creatures. And speaking of that, I actually am a Potterhead, and that's fact number 33. I'm a Potterhead for life. Uh, fact number 34 is that I'd rather spend time in a large, beautiful forest than out in the city, in a big city like New York. I'd much rather be in a forest. I love nature, I love flowers and plants and trees, and I would rather be alone in a large forest than be in a, a big city or anything like that. Um, fact number 35 is that I'm very, very fascinated by the ocean, and I have a love for water. Um, I can't really swim that well, which is ironic, because I am from the Caribbean, but I would love to, like, be out in the water, and I love swimming and things like that, although I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I'm actually not very good at a lot of things that I love, <laughs> but yes, I love the ocean. Um, fact number 36 is that I am a feminist, and I am proud. So yes, that is all I will say about that. Number 37 is that I would love to have my own clothing and or makeup line one day. Um, I'm really, really passionate about fashion and 
makeup and things like that, particularly goth fashion and stuff like that. So yes, I would love to have my own clothing line. That's also been a dream of mine ever since I was a little girl. So yes, I would love that. Um, number 38 is that I hate losing things. Now, I know that everybody hates losing things, obviously. It's not a good thing to happen, but I actually, like, really get this anxiety whenever I find that I lose something. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I'm such a careful person, I like to think. So whenever I lose something, it's, like, a really big deal for me, then, more than it should be, because I try to take care of my things, and I hate when I when something goes missing. I hate when I lose things. So yeah, that's fact number 38. Uh, number 39 is that I actually had a poem of mine pub published in a book when I was in seventh grade. And it's not like a well-known book that everyone has heard of or has read before, but it's like a scholarly kind of book that um, students from all around my city got to take part in and um, from ages like kindergarten so to um, college students, they all got to be in this book, and my poem was one of the poems that was selected, and I'm very, very proud of that, that one of my works was published in a book. So yes, that is fact number 39. 40 is that I absolutely love baby animals. I love them so much. They bring me so much joy, and they are the reason why I am now a vegetarian, because I love animals and I don't want to eat them. It makes me really sad. So, yes. Uh, fact number 41 is that I, l I would love to travel. I love going new places and seeing new things for the first time. And I would just love to travel all around the world. It's a passion of mine. And learn new things. So, yes, I love to travel. Uh, fact number 42 is that I've never really owned any pets as a kid. I only had fish, and they were cannibals. Uh, so... I would love to have a dog or a cat when I'm older. I love, love animals, obviously. So, yeah, I'd really love that one day. Unfortunately, all the places, the apartments that I've ever lived in since I was a kid wouldn't allow animals. So I really want a dog or a cat. Um, fact number 43 is that I, the first song that I ever learned how to sing was the Titanic theme song. And I know I said that I don't like romantic movies, but that's the only movie that I really, really love. That's a romance movie. And I learned the entire theme song, My Heart Will Go On, since, like, the entire thing when I was age three. So, yeah, that was the first song that I ever really sang. Fact 44 is that I am kind of an awkward person when you meet me for the first time. And I'm kind of awkward in general, as you might be able to tell in some of my videos. Most of them, actually. I'm kind of awkward. I'm not really good at talking. I am a really quiet person. But when you get to know me, I'm more outgoing and spontaneous and weird and crazy. But yes, I am a very quiet, awkward person. Um, number 45 is that I have a very, very genuine fear of embarrassing myself in front of other people. And that's why I like keep to myself and I try not to call too much attention to myself because I have a fear of embarrassing myself. It's really weird, but yeah. <laughs> um, fact number 46 is that I've always been told that I seem like really angry when I'm walking down the street because I don't really smile and I guess that makes some people intimidated by me, especially if I'm dressed up like this, but I can't really do anything about, about that. I don't really notice when I'm not smiling or anything, so I am... Um, I don't, I don't know, I just don't smile that much when I'm walking down the street or anything. So that might come off as me being angry, and mean. I don't really mean to be that way. I'm sorry. Um, fact number 47 is that I love going to concerts. I don't go to them as often as I would like to, but I go to shows throughout my city sometimes when my favorite bands are in town. And I love going to shows, although sometimes they can be very dangerous. They're a lot of fun, because I love music, so I love going to concerts. Uh, number 48 is that I have a birthmark on the left side of my face that I've had ever since I was a little girl, and people have pointed it out to me and kind of made fun of me, for, not really made fun of me, but they pointed it out 
and you can't see it now because, you know, I have makeup on, but I have a light patch of skin on the left side of my face, and that is my birthmark. Um, uh, fact number 49 is that I love oddities and vintage items. I love walking into antique stores and looking at all these vintage oddities and stuff, and I just find them to be very interesting and full of history. I love history, so I love looking at those things and those types of shows as well. Um, fact number 50, last fact, finally, is that I prefer face-to-face -face conversations with people, even though I'm quite awkward in person. I feel like face-to-face -face conversations are better because you learn more about a person and you see their facial expressions and how genuine they are when you're in front of them. So yes, I prefer face-to-face -face conversations and texting and phone conversations or even Skyping. I prefer to be in person with someone that I'm talking to. So yes, that is the last one. Finally finished. This was a very, very, very long video. This is probably the longest video I've ever done. But I got through it and I uh, hope you guys stayed to watch the entire thing. And I hope you guys learned a little bit more about myself and that you enjoyed it. So um, yes, that was the 50 random facts about myself. Uh, hopefully I can have even more videos up for you very, very soon when I think about more things to talk about. And I'll be posting more videos in the near future. So, yes, that was it. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Love you all. Thank you for watching. Bye.